what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more terabyte reacts here watching westworld season one episode six is here today and i am super hyped to watch this episode just finished watching episode five if you have not watched that episode go back and watch the damn episode and then come back to watch episode six this will be up early on early reactions so thank you guys so much for all you members that are out there for early access man um appreciate you guys of course um even the ones that will wake a whole, wait a whole week to see this episode if you have signed up for my early access you get this to see this a week in advance so appreciate you guys as always so show last episode may woke up at the end she about to have a conversation i don't know what the questions she's going to ask because I think the first one she says is like, am I real? You know, because I think she suspects that she's not real. Um, because of the bullet was still inside of her when um, dude pulled the bullet out. And she keeps coming in because the same thing is just like, it's like her again. It's like, what's up? What's happening? So we also have the situation with Dolores pulling out the blicky. You know what I'm saying? Like going, you know what I'm saying? Gunslinger mode. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of stuff happened in the last episode, man. We just gonna jump in. I don't talk a lot about or This is not a a, a, um, a recap of the last episode. This is my intro into the video, okay? And we go over some more exciting stuff. And then we jump into the episode. So please go watch the episode and come back for the review because that's when I really go through the episode, okay? Um, For the episode that we watch, okay? So... Let's go. I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was episode six of Westworld, man. And a lot of stuff was revealed. You know what I'm saying? Teddy is a badass. I think this is the first episode we did not see Eleanor. Eleanor thinking of black sales um Dolores at all we saw a picture of her <laughs> that's about it um so Bernard and um Teresa damn she just yeah you know I'm saying finding out what Teresa that Teresa is involved in this that was definitely a plot twist because I would have never thought in a million years she's involved in any of this. But what is the motive behind all of this? Um, Arnold, did Arnold die or is he still alive? Is he just a consciousness within these older models of host? Is that what's going on? And he's like le left the remnant of himself to kind of whisper or is he the one alive? Um, and manipulating through the relay and maybe I'm thinking that maybe Teresa is related to Arnold and nobody knows because now that we found out that she's involved maybe she is related to him because why else would she be involved with Arnold you get what I'm saying like for what other reason the only thing I can think of is it seems like like you know what I'm saying? She's just playing the part until she gets what she really wants. Because maybe this is how Arnold, Arnold wanted the company to go a certain particular way. Or he didn't want this at all. And that didn't work out. Maybe Ford has something to do with him dying. Or maybe because their ideals didn't necessarily match as to how they were going to move forward with everything. And yeah <laughs> maybe that's what happened i don't want to say it is but maybe it's something in those lines of things happening but it's yet to be seen we still got four more episodes to go in this season of course and i am intrigued to say the least about what they're going to do next um so far six episodes in i am really enjoying this series but there's so much mystery. But let's talk about my girl, Maeve. Maeve 
not only is she a beautiful character because you know we've seen her in so many different things the actress and so many different things um one of the one of the the um the best you know black actresses out there uh, i love to see her in anything i don't know if these are treaty like 3d model computer graphic bodies that they're showing or is these people actually sitting naked in a room in front of people acting i don't know okay this is the first time if if it is if they're not using green screen to do this or computer graphics to show like show off people's show bodies and you know different stuff like that if they're not doing that and this is their real body there um then shout out to them man for being able to do that i probably could never do that in acting um you know not to say that i'm no actors or i'm on their level or anything like that i'm just saying that if i was in the game that's probably based on me knowing myself that's probably something i could never do um i don't even want to too much show too much of my arms <laughs> on camera over here because you know what i'm saying i don't have the, the the most beautiful skin out here i can tell you that off bat that's one of the reasons why you probably would never see me without a shirt on in a video ever because i have absolutely horrible looking skin and it's not because i don't take care of my skin it's just um things happen okay things happen and i just happen to be one of those people that don't have great skin and that's from me growing up between acne and all of this other stuff like and some of the spots are still there and to be to be honest with you guys i'm a little insecure about it i'm not even gonna lie like i'm a little insecure about it you know what i'm saying um you know my girl has seen it she doesn't mind you know so that's that you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that people would cringe at it but maybe some people wouldn't like to see it <laughs> so i'm not going to do it you know what i'm saying not what not that i would want to anyways because i don't think it's absolutely necessary for you to come on screen with your shirt off and stuff like that i think it is highly inappropriate when i see whether you're a man or a woman doing that for the public to see i think it is very inappropriate as i said i don't like to watch videos with dudes with their shirts with their shirts off and i don't like to see women out there showing too much cleavage it's just how i am and you might say i'm old school and the reason why that is but that's it's beyond it's beyond the point it's just my perspective on things um you know uh i'm not one of those people who comes on like i'm not on youtube to watch porn i don't want to see your titties coming out of your shirt like i'm there to see you do a reaction or i'm there to see you talk about something you know important or whatever the situation is i don't need to see your titties i'm just saying and if that's the thing about it is that they know that that's what gets them most of the views there's this um if i could give you guys an example there's this ad that always pops up on youtube it's this girl that you know what i'm saying i don't remember the name of her channel but it came up as an ad i'm pretty sure plenty of people have seen this this video because it was an ad video of her talking about nintendo switch stuff you get what i'm saying and kind of inviting people to her channel and she she had this shirt on she had these huge boobs some huge boob breasts i should say she got these huge boobs bruh and do you really like you got a million views you barely have you know at the time she didn't have a lot of subscribers but she sure does have a lot now you know what i'm saying um but that's what I'm saying. Like, why does YouTube promote stuff like that? Like, she, they, she knows. She wouldn't have wished something showing her cleavage and too big. You know what I'm saying? Like, she wouldn't do that if she didn't know. And some of them be like, oh, I'm just trying to be me. No, you know what you're doing, man. Just admit to it. Just admit to it. You know what you're doing. But as I said, man, for these actresses, I don't know if it's CG. If it's CG or not but it could be it could be cg we've we've we know that this is something that happens now in tv shows they did it for game of thrones 
um, after Emilia Clark. I think it was after season one. She did season one where she actually did that fire scene at the end of season one. She did that fire scene and it was actually her. But then the second time when she did the fire scene, walking out of her where everybody was calling her mom or whatever, mother of dragons or whatever, right? That was completely CG. They messed it up, but you could see that it was CG because I think there was a complaint of some sort if she didn't want to do that again. And that's fine. As long as they do it right, like, and that's why I'm saying this, if, if it is CG, shout out to the special effects team because they're doing an unbelievable job because the, it looks real it looks like that what i would expect danny newton to look like <laughs> you get what i'm saying like that's what i would expect you her to look like naked like like nothing is left to the imagination after seeing her like that like it doesn't look like it's not her you know what i'm saying but in my personal, um, from looking from her and seeing her on the TV screen, like it, it does not look like CGI. It looks like it's actually her sitting there naked. Um, so, hey, she's a hottie. I'm not even going to lie. Without, even without, um, she, she, she's a hottie. You know what I'm saying? And she's older than me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying they ain't no hot you know 40 year olds or 50 year olds out there um not saying they ain't but it ain't a lot <laughs> you know but anyways thank you guys so much appreciate y'all man um looking forward to the next episode of course this has been a journey to say the least six episodes in and the adrenaline rush of finding stuff out and still don't know who the hell arnold is I think we've seen a picture of him or they showed a picture of him um the dude that's in charge of narrative him meeting the head of the ceo is one of, one of my um not necessarily my one of my favorite actresses but i like to see her and stuff she was in thor ragnarok she's valkyrie um she's in the marvel universe so i don't mind you know seeing her and stuff she's funny um, she was in the last Men in Black that I did not enjoy. The one that, you know, her and um, what's his name, the dude that plays Thor, they did, they they both did, um, Men in Black together. Um, it it was cool. It was a cool movie. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, I wouldn't consider that movie trash, but it, it was okay. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't anything like off the chain like Men in Black one and two. You know, Men in Black three was okay <laughs> you know <laughs> it was all right anyways thank you guys so much man looking forward to doing some more westworld reacting next week appreciate you guys and i will catch you guys next time for some more westworld leave a like leave a comment whoa maybe she, she got the, she got the, she getting that intelligence now She's going to make some plans with these boys. Okay, let's see what Maeve is up to. But anyways, I think she's going to try to get out somehow. She's going to try to get out there in the real world and see what it's like. I think that's what she's trying. She's going to try to do. But that's just me. Leave a like, leave a comment. I'm out.